Kratom is quite interesting from the standpoint that if you don't know anything about it and you kind of just look into it, suddenly you're faced with the fact that you see multiple types of strains of Kratom. So you might see a white vein or a red vein or a green vein strain. You might see a smooth leaf or horned leaf. And these are all truly distinct Mitragyna species uh, leaves that form. It's interesting though because some of the native farms in Thailand and Malaysia where they grow trees for research study, it doesn't seem to be just the one species. They seem to kind of grow amongst each other and they're not really sure really how those different species sort of have arisen. And you'll see that some people will claim that the red vein is more potent than the white vein and actually in reality, the white vein and the green vein are exactly the same plant, but they are marketed <laughs> as two totally different things with different effects. But the red vein has been thought to be a more potent, more stronger producer of whatever effect it is that they're trying to tell you, better analgesic or, or whatnot. But from the research that we've carried out comparing the different strains and different leaf forms, we really haven't seen much of a difference in their chemical compositions or makeup and really the, not even a difference difference in the ratio of the alkaloids that are in those plants. Herbolarium. Soluciones ancestrales a problemas modernos.